freshman struggles, sophomore awkwardness, junior year anticipation, and the senior year itch. All leading up to that one big day, graduation. Freshmen everywhere dream about this glorious day, but often they don't really think about what they're going to do to get there. They normally just think entering high school is all fun and games. Graduation is scary enough as it is without having all of these added problems that the world throws at you to make it that much harder. But somehow I made it through. So today I'm not going to explain to you what I did to get there or brag to you about my GPA. Instead, I'm going to tell you about how I made it through high school even though there were twists and turns, I still graduated with high honors. You can no longer put hanging out with your friends at the top of the list. The first thing to wrap your brain around when you get into high school is priorities. This is very hard for me to get over. My best friend and I are practically inseparable and have been since we were eight. So going into high school and not being able to spend time with her was like a challenge. Sometimes it was hard to focus on homework. Not being able to hang out with your friends will do that. For me, the hardest thing was taking my technology away from me and focusing. I was constantly texting and procrastinating work so that I could scroll through Facebook. I built up a pretty strong willpower after that though. I was able to stop looking at my phone and really control myself enough to get my work done. Also, my freshman year had a lot on my plate. I had many hobbies that took time out of my already busy schedule. I was also on the swim team. None of these things came before school though. However, being involved in them did bring some structure to my life. And when I say bring structure to my life, I mean it gave me no time at all to procrastinate. Being a part of a club my sophomore and junior year helped me become more well-rounded. I was president of the volunteer club at my school. This helped my record and it also gave me better leadership skills. Developing these skills is what made me a better student. It's what made me graduate in the first place. Being on a sports team is what gave me discipline. On top of not having my free time because of being in so many clubs, the swim team also filled up any empty slots in my life. Being on the team helped with my discipline because it showed how dedicated I was. You have to be dedicated to a team, otherwise the team can't stand. Besides the obstacles of time, there were others that tried to make me fail. My health has always been an issue. I have a seizure disorder and it's constantly keeping me from getting things done, especially school. I've missed many days because of it, and having it really only made me that much more determined to be better, especially a better student. Our financial situation also was a struggle. I have always lived in a single parent household, so when the economy hit, I had to get two jobs to help out. I was straight from school to my first job, from my first job to my second job, and hopefully I made it home before midnight. It was always very hard to get homework done when all I wanted to do was sleep. But I got through it because I knew I wanted a great GPA. I have told you about my struggles in school and my success of using them to my advantage to graduate with high honors. Focusing on my long-term goal really got me through school. I attribute my success to the things that brought structure to my life. So before you give up on school or get discouraged, focus on a big long-term goal in your life. It got me to my successful day of graduating with a 4.0 and high honors. You can do the same for you.